guys and welcome back to the lazy girls kitchen for those of you that are new to my channel my name is maggie and welcome today i'm going to be sharing with you kind of an alternative to a rice krispie treat i actually make it with popcorn and it's just such an easy and delicious snack um, even if you don't want to make it for like easter which i kind of made it now i actually make these originally for christmas and i just use red and green m m's they're such a big hit, I tell you, especially when I'm watching a movie and I like to snack on something. I love them. So if you want to see how these come together, keep on watching. Also, these will be really cute if you wanted to put them in like little foil bags and put them in Easter baskets. I know. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so to make this, what you're going to need is... I have some popcorn. I made this at home, but you can go ahead and just use store-bought. I have some Cadbury eggs that I've kind of just broken up, butter, graham crackers, marshmallows. I have a mixture of the large and the little, and then I have some rainbow sprinkles. You can leave those out. I just like to sprinkle them over the top. I think they look really nice. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your butter, you're going to add it to your pan. You're going to let the butter butter girl learn to talk you're gonna let the butter melt completely before you go ahead and add in your marshmallows mm. this is gonna be so good you just wait and see okay my butter is completely melted so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my marshmallows just go ahead and add that in and I use about one bag of the small marshmallows and about a cup and a half of the big marshmallows the reason I do this is because the big marshmallows don't melt all the way through, so you still have that marshmallowy goodness in it, like a full marshmallow, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and babysit this for a few minutes, and don't panic if it looks like the butter is separating from the um, marshmallow, it'll come together eventually, don't you worry. And I will meet you here in a few minutes. Okay, so this is perfect. The little marshmallows are fully melted the big ones are still kind of whole so at this point oh sorry about the noise i'm gonna go ahead and add in my popcorn i'm kind of gonna ga gauge it to see if i need all of it uh, ooh, sorry i'm gonna go ahead and stir this in and i'm gonna go ahead and shut the heat off i don't need the heat on at this point but you have to work really quickly because then it'll be really hard to get this stuff out of there like that. just make sure everything is nicely coated I'm going to go ahead and add in my graham crackers and my eggs. And if you want, you can also put some eggs on the top of your dish. There we go. Just make sure everything's nicely coated. Oh, this looks so good. You guys, I cannot wait to try this because it's so good. This is a good alternative too to something different besides like the rice, rice crispy treat. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my baking dish and I will meet you back here in a second. Okay. I just want to show you, look how beautiful everything's just nicely gelled together. Now I saved some eggs for the top so I can just kind of scatter them in so people will know this is an Easter crackle thing. You don't have to do this. But you know, who doesn't want a little extra chocolate? I mean, come on, this girl sure does. So get a little green one in there, some purples. All right, finishing touch, my sprinkles. Just a little, just to give it a little extra. I wish I had the, um, like the Easter colors, you know, like the, pastel-y colors but I don't so I'm gonna let this set for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it enjoy <music> 